From 1917 to 1928, they afflicted half a million individuals with a dreadful condition that could be part of the plotline of a scary film. The victims, very much alive and conscious, found themselves in inexplicably frozen states, their static bodies jails for their minds. Encephalitis lethargica, L, aka the sleeping sickness, initially appeared in Europe and rapidly spread around the world, reaching epidemic levels in the United States and Canada, Europe, and India by 1919. About a third of those stricken with the health problem died. Of the survivors, almost half eventually found themselves unable to physically interact with the world around them, all the while fully familiar with their environments. Though sometimes capable of limited speech, eye motion, and even laughter, they normally looked like living statues, absolutely motionless for hours, days, weeks, or years. The cause is unidentified, however, one theory is brain inflammation activated by unusual stress of streptococcus, the germs responsible for many aching throats each year. Science's finest guess is that the germs mutated, provoking the body's immune system to assault the brain, leaving the victim powerless. None of this describes why the disease disappeared just to resurface sporadically, be it in Europe in the 1950s or in China ten years earlier when a 12-year-old girl was hospitalized for five weeks with the disease. Are such incidents the brand new typical, or are they signs that L could be preparing something bigger any day? A 2004 analysis of 20 patients with signs incredibly similar to L concluded that whatever ailed them is still prevalent. As such, history's so-called sleeping illness remains the stuff of problems. These criminal activities will never, ever be solved.